Hello everybody, this is Dee and welcome or welcome back to my channel, Dee Plants and Budgets. So let's get a little snail. Snail hasn't been out in a while. Today we're going to do my favorite binder, which is my Dee Binder. This is a binder dedicated to all things frivolous and spending. Woohoo! If you want to watch me stuff it, please stay tuned. Right, let's put little snail up and ladybug will have a job to do so we'll leave her down here just a bit let's move the dice and the coin sorry my cash is under here let's see how much we got to stuff today 20 40 60 70 80 91 10 15 20 25 30 2, 4, 6, 8, 40, 2, 44, 46, 47, 48, 49, and 50. 150 dollars. Let's get this turned to the appropriate part. Fun, fun. I have some extra money for the 50 envelope challenge, or 60 envelope challenge. When I was going through my binder and clearing stuff out I ended up with some extra money that I like in the binders there was no savings challenge to go with it and so I decided I was going to put all that into the 50, into the 60 I'm sorry envelope challenge that I'm doing the wingity way there's a lot of money here yay so we have one, two, fifty, sixty, seventy-five. Let's take two hundred and put it in here, and let's take the other seventy-five, and we can add it to other challenges. All right. So, like I said, I don't know where this came from. It was just here, and I don't need that envelope in there. The way I'm doing this is like Veronica on Forty Plus Life. I have these envelopes. Let's start with the 200 here, and let's start pulling until I reach the 200. And I got 10. And five. Ooh. And five. This one is in there. It's all broken up. 10. I had to stick these together with dots and they got really stuck together. 10. Next time I'll do bigger papers and fold them up differently. Oh my gosh. Okay. Ooh. 50. That's good. That'll take a nice chunk right out. And you know what? Let's stop with 100 because that's enough of those for now. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to pull this little guy out. And I am going to color these in and then I am going to write the numbers in. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So I'm going to color down to this row and I'll be right back. And just like that, they'll all colored in. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and write the numbers in. We have five, five, oops, five, 50, five, Five, and then one, two, three, tens. Ten, ten, and ten. And we're going to throw all those away. And we may come back to this, or I may save some more to do next time. But for now, we're going to add a hundred into the fifty envelope, or the sixty, <laughs> the sixty envelope challenge. I don't know. I don't know why I chose sixty. I guess because I do it twice a month. So I guess it would be, you know, 
it's like a year. I don't know if it's twice a month. I, I mean, I do it twice a month, but I do more than one envelope. Anyhow, one fifty seventy ninety two oh five in my 60 envelope challenge. Now, let's do a companion card. You pulled the time card. What time is it? It is, ooh, 4.45. Let's do the four and the five together to make it nine. Oops, we can move back to the calculator. Five, seven, and nine. The next one is also for my dreams. I So what I did, I just went through this in, in hopes to be more organized. I went through this, and when I had more than one challenge in a category, then I put a second one in there. All right, now, because I put that extra money, I'm hoping I can get a bunch of these done today. So let's roll this dice. Two and a one. Two and a one, so that's three. And a five and a two. A seven. And a five. And a two. Can't do a two, so I have two left over. So a five, okay, so a three, a three, and then a one and a two makes a three. So that's six. Did I add the five? Let me see, five, 10, 15, 21. Okay, let's just do that. And a six, it'll be a five, and I'll have a one left over. And a one plus five makes six, so that's seven more. And a four, that's excellent. I know, I'm just really winging it. And then a six, and I have a four, I have one left over. And then a six, oh, well, see, it actually worked out where I didn't cheat that much because they all added up at the end. So let me double check my math. So six plus 11 is 15, and six, 11, 15, 18, 20, and then 6, 11, 15, 21. $56 in here. Hey, I got that extra 50. I'm going to do $56. And then this is a completed challenge. And I can go on to something else. Actually, I have this one in here too. So you know what I'm going to do. You know I'm going to do it. Let's do 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 16, $17. Two completed challenges. All right, I'm going to write the dates on these. So today is the 7th. And let me see. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Three, six, nine, thirty-two, thirty-five dollars in this one. As it said, I guess I had it all added up. And then what's left is going to be in this one. So now, one fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety-five, two hundred, two, and three. So 203 minus 35 is 168 was in this challenge. I will put those in my folder and log those in later. Two more done. Woohoo! Now I'm going to grab this completed challenge. And then next time I'm in this binder, I'm going to have a new challenge in this envelope, which is also going to Dreams going to be, I think, my many ways to play dice instead of doing that on casino night. We'll find out. Bags and walls is uh, totally funded. Whoops, I need a companion card. It says $4. Can I give it a 10 and get $6 out? Nope. No, no, I cannot. Okay, that's okay. Long going. Well, let's get some of these done. 
I have some challenges that are already completed in here. And then I have these to be done. I don't need a ton of money in here. So I'm not going to do any 20s today. Let's do two 10s and a 5. I don't understand how the purple and the red are the same color. Anyhow, so $25 going into lawn mowing. I am probably close to fully funded on this, but I think that I will continue to stuff this and then I can use this for some of my miscellaneous yard supplies too. Now in my completed, in my completed one, I have one, two, three, fifty, three hundred and sixty dollars. That I'm pretty sure will be almost enough to mow while I am gone this summer. And then I have one, fifty, seventy, ninety, two hundred and five. So let's go fifty, seventy, ninety, one hundred, and take this hundred out. Alrighty then. So that is in lawn mowing. And this completed. Time for a companion card. Color. Oh, I'm wearing um, multicolor. I'm wearing it's green and pink. So you know what? Let's do five. They're both just five. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put a ten in and grab out five. Okay. Have I been there? Woohoo! Time to get my cards out. These are the cards that I have. Yay. And I go through and I grab. If I've been to the state, I do double. Let's take, I'm looking up. Let's take which side? This side or this side? Tell me which one. Let's do that side. Oh, this is a, a wild. This is a wild side. Okay, so I'm going to do both. South Carolina. I've been to South Carolina. I'm going to do a total of 17 because I'm pretty sure I did those as a wild card. Those are some extra stickers that I had. So let's start with grabbing $17. And then I am going to mark with a wet dry. Sorry. I'm going to mark that I have done this one. That's how I know to draw again. Oops, and I've done this one because I took both of them. Because if they're two-sided, I need the second side. Let's do it in yellow. All colored in. I have absolutely no reason why I chose that color. Just did. So have I been there? It's getting 17 more dollars. 10 for South Carolina, and I've been there, so I don't double it. And seven for the wild card. If I hadn't got that wild, I could have done an extra one today with all my money. So 20, 30, 40, 5, 50, 2, and 53 dollars. And have I been there? Next, bike or trike. And it is the happy B day. And that's this one right here. And it's 25 per symbol and 100 for the cake. So let's do $50 worth. And I'll color them in and be right back. All right, I colored these too. And let's do $50. I need this one to get lots of money in it because an electric bike or electric trike, either one that I decide is going to be expensive. This is a long range goal. I'm not even sure if I'll ever be able to fit one in my van. So 152, 50, 70, and 275. But it's all right to be making progress on it. Let's do a companion card. Oop, this is the instructions for the whole deck. Don't need to do that. And $1 into the next challenge, which is going to be, as always, 
my companion cards. All right, puppy. So in puppy, I have this one left and I roll two dies. One is for the box and one is for the number in the box. And I, since I, this one's already done, I'm gonna go box two and then one, two, three, four, five, and then five. So that is $17 going into this challenge. And this is for a puppy. That's another super long range goal. Before I even entertain one, I need to slow down on the travel and I need to have, you know, at least a $5,000 emergency fund for it. So 150, 70, 90, 200, 5, 7, 9, and 10. Not even, to, not even mentioning the cost of getting the puppy in the first place. Okay, phone. My phone has started to behave a little bit more as of late. This may not be as urgent of a need as I thought. Let me fast forward this and I'll be right back. Alrighty, Oof, took me a while. Okay, I was going to first off, when I've paid these, I need to mark them off. This is a hard one. I don't think I'm gonna do very good. I'm gonna start having to, got row and arc, rise and raise. Anybody wants to give me any words down in the comment, here's the board, please let me know. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dollars. Maybe I just need to give up and do this so that I can get some money into my phone fund. Let me see, do I have a five in here? No, I don't, but I have a two and a one, so we'll do 10. And we'll put back a two and a one for $7. Now I have $31. Whew, I don't know about you guys, but for me, the struggle is real. I had to go find them first because I was taking so long. All right. Oop, time for a companion card. And $2 into the next savings challenge. $2. And with that, I can go two, four, six, eight, ten. And 10 is 20. So now we have $21 into the companion cards. All right, that was for the phone. And this next one is also for my phone. This one is so much easier. And both of these will need to be filled out before I can do a complete. So let's do, since I didn't do too well last time, let's do... $32. And we can mark this off. And all right. This can go. I think I had this all into it. Nope. Okay. So $32, 20, 30, and two. Let's see how much I'm going to go into complete a challenge. Take these two fives for a 10, these two tens for a 20. All right, 50, 70, 92, and 93 dollars. These completed challenges will sit just sit here, they're not going to step any other challenges. Yay! And another one done. I will log that in later. And I'm gonna still do this one. I might try to find another challenge after I am done with this. Amazon. I've got two for Amazon. Before I play Shut the Box, we'll go back over here real quick. And this is, it's going to be Be the Best Version of You Scratch Off. And also it's going to be this one from Hands and Bands. And I have pre-colored these lovely ladies in. And then I mark off to save. But you know what? I forgot my companion card. Date. 
All right, so I need to add the three and the seven together. I'm just going to do the three. I don't want to do... Oh, but you know what? It's four. It's April. Duh. It's not March. All right. I mean, I knew it was April, but I was saying it was month three. That's not right. Okay. And on this, I'm going to take this lovely lady and I am going to put $15 in. I knew there was no way that I'd make you stay. I used alcohol markers on those. See how pretty they are? All right. And now this one has 10, 20, 30, 45, and $50 in it. And time for a companion card. Mood. Between silly and happy, I would say hungry, but I just ate. Yummy. Let's say shappy. So let's do $3 for silly and happy together. Okay. Now it's time for shut the box. Shut the front door box. So shut the box. We're going to throw the dice down here. And let's go. This is for Amazon. So seven, I am going to do seven. This purple one gets pilly. Do y'all know you can sharpen these? Ooh, seven again. Let's do five and two. Did you know you can sharpen these? You can. I have done it, not with these, but with the Walmart ones. I sent those on to my grandson. He can use those to color his savings challenges in. But you can, seven again, seriously? Let's do four and three. Something tells me I'm saving $16 in this, but that's fine, it's for Amazon, I need money. Oops, even, it would have been more than that. I didn't even see this eight left, but that's good. I need nine, six, one. I need six, seven, nine, or 10. 10, all right, ooh. And here was me thinking I might, ha! Huh. Okay, uh, should I use one dice and try to get a six? I'm gonna do two. Nope, okay, $6. See, that one's not Philly. Okay, so six dollars for that. Let's play one more time. Seven. And eight. And three. Certainly not going to use the two and one up. And five. I wonder what the, um, oh no, nine, oh no, I don't know. I just was saying that it was so good because this is for Amazon. It's a good thing I gave myself the extra money today because nine, 15, 19, 20, 22 dollars. That's okay. You know what? I can spend this money whenever I want to. I don't have to wait until it's full. So that's a good thing because I need money in my Amazon folder. I decided to do that instead of trying to use credit card points for it. I'm going to save. So 20, 35, 36, 37, and 38 dollars in shut the box for Amazon. Yes, that is actually a good thing. These two are both for Amazon, by the way. Now, do I want to do any more? What do I have? I have 10, 20, 30. Oops, first a companion card. Odds are even. Okay, so on this, you roll three dice. If you roll mostly odds, save your choice of one, three, or five, and mostly evens, two, four, or six. And since I have given companion cards a lot today, I'm saving one dollar. Those babies have gotten a lot of my money today, although I can put it back in there. You know what? Let's do... How long is this? Oh gosh, what do I wanna do? Let's do a couple more envelope challenges. What do I have? $32. Well, I got two right here. Let's hope it's not a 50 or I'm gonna have an IOU. 20, 
that's, well, oh, don't be a 50. Oh, it's five. Woo, 25. Oh, and that's good because I colored in accidentally an extra five. So that's actually good that it ended up that way because I did this five right here. Okay, let me color these in. All right, okay, not too bad. Those are the only ones you ever had to watch me color today. That was 20 that I did in that one. So 10, 20, 30. Let's see if I have change in here. I see a little five right there. And we're gonna get that out. Well, that was fun. I got a lot of these done. So 50, 70, 90, 100, 10, 20, 100, 150, 70, 90, 200, and 30 dollars in my 60 envelope. It is making progress. And this is my dreams. I do have a long-term, there we go. I do have a long-term dreams binder as well, but this will not be for that. All right, $3, put $3 in my next challenge. Five and a three. It is a really good thing I had that extra 150 bucks today with the way that Shut the Box got me. And then I was able to get some other really good things going in my envelopes. I always call them binders. In the penny challenge, I have two, four. I do this a complete wing it way. I pick a penny and I go like this and I write in how much I saved. And I saved $4. And then I get myself a little pin and I color it in. This is just for my buffer. I wanted to do this. I like things that have lots of little pretty colors that you can color in. And now my buffer's got a good amount of money in it for when I go over 20, 40, 50, 65, 67, 69, 71, 73, 4, 5, 6, and 7. <laughs> can you hear that? It's an ice cream truck. Oh, yeah, the pool opened back up in the neighborhood, so now the ice cream trucks are hitting the roads again because, you know, kids swimming, they like to have ice cream. Let's see how much is in my companions, and this is going to totally need to be condensed when I get there. A lot of my little money hiding out in my companion cards. All right, in my Let's Play companion cards, I have 1, 20, 40, 50, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 200, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, 17, 19, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 229. This concludes my cash stuffing for today. I am really glad you joined me. I made so much progress in this today. Thanks in part to that extra money I found stuffed in there without a challenge to go with it. I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day and take a walk or jog or bike ride or any of the wonderful spring activities. Maybe just have a picnic. Bye.